Hey guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Dan. Uh, my skin looks not the greatest at the moment. Um, I've been to my hometown, we celebrated Easter two days ago. And I went to my hometown, I spent time with my family, my parents, and um, I had a lot of great food. But uh, my diet was just so bad, and I guess you can see that on my face. Uh, I regret nothing though, like, not of it. I, I regret nothing. You just had such a good time. Uh, today I'm gonna review this Cetaphil Redness Relieving Daily Facial Moisturizer with Sunscreen SPF 20. Now, first thing that I'm gonna say, uh, never use this one as your only sunscreen because this one only has SPF 20. Uh, you can apply it on top of your sunscreen. If you are gonna use this one as your only sunscreen, I guess you can do that only like in the evening, at sunset or um, even at night time. I mean, if you want the glow that this one gives or the um, uh, a little bit of even skin tone that this one gives, you can use it at night. But otherwise, definitely use the sunscreen underneath it because SPF 20 is not enough. I don't even recommend SPF 30. In my opinion, it's not enough. I only recommend SPF 50. SPF 50 plus would be ideal. Just because with an SPF 20, 30, you're not gonna get enough UVA protection. This is only the UVB protection that you get. And even for UVB SPF 20, it's still pretty low. Um, before I start reviewing this one, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos related to skincare, nutrition, supplements, workout videos some from time to time. I have a workout video coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and um, what else? That's, that's basically it. Okay, I'm gonna start as always with the packaging and I freaking love this. This is 10 out of 10. Pump bottle, easy to travel, uh, you just press on this, get the product. Now, if you feel like the product doesn't come off, you should, should press on the body a little bit, so it's, and it's gonna come off. I don't know uh, when I am, I'm gonna get to the end of the product, to the bottom of the product, how, it's gonna, how this is gonna work, but I, I hope it's gonna work fine and I'm gonna be able to squeeze all the product out of it. Uh, 10 out of 10 for the package, I really like it. Uh, when it comes to the price, I think I paid around $14, $15 for this one, which is not the most inexpensive sunscreen or moisturizer, but um, this one is tinted. And when it comes to tinted sunscreens, they tend to be pretty pricey. So this is kind of on the inexpensive side of the spectrum, especially for like makeup, BB creams. This is definitely an inexpensive one. You get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is 50 ml. So it's almost twice than the amount that you usually get with other products. So, uh, great price actually. When it comes to irritant ingredients, nothing like that in this one. No fragrance, no alcohol, no essential oils. This one is a uh, mineral sunscreen, kind of a sunscreen, it's not a sunscreen. It has, um, it has zinc and titanium, it has 10% zinc, uh, no, 10% titanium dioxide and 7.8% zinc oxide. So yeah, that's great for people with sensitive skin. Uh, it's not gonna give you any irritation or stuff like that. It's actually gonna be soothing for the skin, zinc oxide, it's pretty soothing. Uh, when it comes to my experience with this one and the um, ingredient list, I guess I'm gonna apply it now on my face so you guys can see how it looks like. I used, I have right now on my face this um, La Roche-Posay Hydrating Cream, Ultra Resistant. This one, guys, I'm gonna review this one in a couple of days, but this one is becoming my holy grail sunscreen. It has an UVA protection of 35, which is super, super high. And um, it looks shiny, but not like horrible. Usually sunscreen with such a high UVA protection would look like a greasy mess, super, super shiny. This one is shiny, not greasy though. I wouldn't consider this it's kind of like shiny in a good way. Some people like this. I'm not a huge fan of it, but uh, for such high UV protection, I'm super impressed. Uh, it doesn't sting my eyes, it's super hydrating. Um, why am I reviewing this one? Okay, I'm gonna review this one in a couple of days, but it's a really good one. The price is not really too bad. Um, so I have that on my face at the moment. I am gonna start applying this one. I usually use around three pumps. That's not gonna give me SPF 20, definitely. You need more but I'm not using it for the, 
for the protection. I am using this one, well, I am using it for the protection, but I'm using it for the blue light protection because this one has iron oxides, which are supposed to help with um, blue light protection. Other sunscreens, I mean, not tinted sunscreens, are not gonna do that for your skin. The filters that we have at the moment, then they don't protect against blue light. There is one, however, there is one new filter from Avian, which is called Triasorb, I think, Triasorb. Not sure about that. That one actually is supposed to help against blue light. It is probably the newest filter. So um, that's some great stuff right there, I would say, if it protects against blue light. But yeah, this one only has mineral filters, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. Um, besides the blue light protection, I am using this one kind of for the aesthetic of it because it offers, it kind of like blurs my pores a little bit. It gives me a um, more even skin tone because it camouflages the redness. I think it has some like green tint in it because every time I'm washing my hands after using this one, I notice it has, I notice it has kind of like a green tint. So um, it helps with the redness, it helps to camouflage pimples a little bit, as you can see. However, it's not makeup. The coverage is just so, so subtle. I think any guy or girl who doesn't wear makeup can use this one. It's really, really not noticeable at all, and um, nobody would ever guess you are actually wearing makeup. But it definitely improves the look of your skin a little bit, as you guys can, as you guys can see. I feel like um, it blurs my pores a little bit, and it definitely, here's a good one, it definitely helps with the look of my uh, blackheads. Those, I cannot see those after using this one, which is really, really nice. Um, now, the finish is a little bit glowy, shiny, as you guys can see, but what I like about this one is that towards the end of the day, I don't really get like even more grease. I mean, I still get a bit more shiny, but it's not as bad as without using this one. I guess because of the zinc oxide in it, it kind of like absorbs those oils and it keeps my skin looking like this by the end of the day. And I am applying some powder, so it keeps it pretty on the matte side a little bit. It's not matte, it's just um, doesn't get more greasy because of the zinc oxide most probably. That absorbs the oil, so I also like that. It is a really nice product, I mean, I never thought I was gonna like it this much, so um, I definitely recommend this one. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks very shiny though, I'm gonna powder this down. But um, I was talking about blue light. Now blue light is actually, to a certain extent, responsible for a post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation for hyperpigmentation, generally speaking, and asthma, some dark spots here and there. So uh, protecting against blue light is actually very important for people who are struggling with that. And um, yeah, I am struggling with that from time to time. Now I'm gonna dive into the ingredient list. Besides zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, we have... Um, what I don't like about this one is that they've listed the ingredients in alphabetic order. Alphabetical? Uh, alphabetic order. So we cannot really tell how much of each ingredient we have in the product, which is not the greatest thing, I don't really like that. But um, yeah, uh, because allantoin is the first ingredient, which it's pretty much impossible, and water is the last ingredient, because uh, W is much lower in the, um, on, on the alphabet, I guess. English, come through. <laughs> okay, yeah, but some ingredients worth mentioning are, uh, yeah, palantoin, it's soothing for the skin. It's a nice moisturizing ingredient. We have uh, glycerin, which is actually uh, my favorite humectant. It's gonna hydrate your skin. We have caffeine, which it's supposed to help with redness because it's a vasal construct, constrictor, constructor, something like that. Um, now, what else do we have? We have licorice root extract, which actually has been uh, scientifically proven in some studies to help against hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory erythema, uh, redness here and there, soothing your skin. It's a really nice ingredient. I think it deserves more attention than it actually gets. Um, but yeah, basically those are kind of like all the ingredients. We have a lot of 
silicones, we have some thickening ingredients, emollients here and there. But oh, I forgot to mention, this one is actually a fungal acne safe, that's what I use it. And uh, it's a really hard to find fungal acne safe moisturizer, sunscreens, um, especially sunscreens, and it's very, very hard to find a uh, mineral fungal acne safe sunscreen. Most of them are chemical. So yeah, I really like this one. Uh, it feels kind of like soothing to the skin. It is actually redness relieving in my opinion because of the zinc oxide, because of the licorice root. It feels very, very soothing. It never stings my skin. Um, yeah, I, I really like this one. Like I, I never thought I'm gonna like it this much. And besides that, as you can see, it kind of like neutralizes the redness a little bit. Uh, gives me a nice, even skin tone. Looks great on your skin. I, I like this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you find it helpful. Give this product a shot. Give it a shot. Yeah. And uh, let me know in comments below if you've ever used this one. What other products similar to this are there on the market? I I really need some like mineral sunscreens that are fungal acne safe, that are affordable, that look great on your skin, like this one. There's the dermatology one, they don't ship in my country, unfortunately. I think they do, but the shipping is very expensive. There's the, um, no, LTMD, the tinted one is not fungal acne safe. The untinted one is actually fungal acne safe. I really want to try the dermatology one, but I uh, cannot really afford that at the moment. Okay, that's it guys. Love you all. See you all in my next video.